Hey traders, let's do an update here on uh, volatility, specifically the um, the VIX, all right? Equity volatility. So we talked about this last week, um, guys. But I drew, I drew this is a standard um, uh, two standard deviation regression channel here in red. Let me just highlight it. Okay, here's the mean on the VIX, right? This is two standard deviations, the bottom end of the range. This is two standard deviations, the top end of the range. This move that we had Friday and this morning or today, this was actually four standard deviations from the mean line. So guys, when you get up that far from the mean on the VIX, you got to start going the other way. This isn't something that you chase. So we um, twice played UVXY on the short side. So for those that don't know, when you want to go bearish the VIX, um, this is an ETF that works great because uh, this is the short-term volatility. Uh, it, it mimics the, the front end of the... Uh, the VIX curve. So this is how we play this, guys. Anytime you get a long-term pop on this, I mean, this this basically failed back here at Pi in our model. When we look at the hourly, we were also eyeing 21.22 to buy some longer-term puts for a trade into the next several months. But most, but this this spike kind of makes me think that stocks held, all right, and that Treasuries are probably going to be topping out here soon. But we've been playing this on the short side near term. So each time we get a pop in the VIX, start buying puts, out of the money puts, and we've just been playing the weeklies and having nice returns. So Friday, um, you know, I bought here. It could have even done even better up here late in the day. I just missed it. And then this morning we opened up at those same levels, bought puts, and this was us covering today. But... Uh, I mean, we bought the 18 strike puts this morning, and you're already at 17 and a half. So we've had a nice day. I'll sh show you guys what some of those returns look like. Uh, let's see. So here's UVXY. This is our active trader room, and so. I put I post all my <clears throat> trades in here, whether I'm trading currencies or futures, um, gold, oil, S and P, Nasdaq. We were covering our <clears throat> S and P sh short from last week. I guess I'll go through that trade in a second. But here's this is me covering the second round of us covering uh, UVXY. We signaled short uh, this morning. We do that in the live room. This is me day trading. Um, I also bought this ETF, which is the inverse of the, uh, it's the same thinking that if you think volatility's peaked out, and you want to be bearish on vol, you can go long this, this inverse ETF. I mean, this thing really moves just in a massive bull market. All right, so here I was actually still down on the day relative to these puts I bought Friday. Obviously, I didn't have the, the best location. The best location was late in the day Friday, but we opened up, put those on. My first round of covering, we're still out of the money here by a couple grand. All right. But look how we finished out on this. This is Goldman Sachs. Uh, added back to our long positions there. So here's UVXY. It's taking more gains. I'm talking about taking more gains in the 18 puts. All right. And I was covering our short calls. I forgot about that. We did sell some calls up there also to, to help pay for the puts. So those are up 41%. Uh, I'm talking about Euro versus the Kiwi. And here's, here's us covering more. Um... So I'll post those results here this afternoon in the live room. 
or in the active trader room. Um, anyway, guys, that's that's an update on the VIX. I'll go ahead and do a global macro update overall, and um, I'll have another video here for you.